Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday and today I read all of your lovely comments that you would totally watch me scrapbook Christmas. So I pulled out my December project and I was flipping through it and I didn't even realize how much I had actually finished. I have done 21 stories and since this is a thinner album, it's probably only going to fit 25 stories, uh, which is fine. Sometimes I do 25, sometimes I do the whole month. So I am going to pick a photo because I have a couple of them already. Probably not going to do a coffee since I have a adult hot chocolate right there. What I think I'm going to do is this one, and then I'll be doing a 4 by 6 card uh, to fit under there. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I figured I would want to make an interactive element for this uh, portion uh, for Story 22. So I grabbed a six by eight sheet of paper and I'm just testing it out to make sure it's actually gonna work the way I want it to work. And I'm also making sure that that pattern paper still looked decent next to the pattern papers and things I already had going on in that page. So a quick little peek into the project album and then I have figured that this poinsettia paper will be perfect. Now this is where I struggle. Um, it's been a while since I've played with Christmas products and also I'm just trying to figure out what in the heck I want this to look like. I was going to go with this Here We Come a Caroling because I thought it would be hilarious for these uh, statues that are all decked out in Christmas finery to have that. But then I was like, mm, it's kind of boring. Let's try something else. So I kept trying these something else's. I kept looking and figuring out what I wanted to do. And then I saw that door die cut and remembered something I wanted to do in the album too. And since, you know, I'm on day 22, I better get that uh, done and figured out. So I am just really trying to figure out how the heck to decorate this. So this pattern paper is busy, you guys. There is a lot on here. I could have just taken the 22, put it on there, called it a day, and it would have been gorgeous. But I decided that I needed something a bit more. So I'm thinking that this big poinsettia die cut will go on the top of it. And it's not just going to go on the top of it. I need to tone down the background a little bit. And I'm going to do that with a piece of vellum. So I get the vellum. I trim it down. Uh, that was me leaning down to pick something up off the table. That looked like I just laid my head down on the desk for a few minutes. But I swear that's not what I was doing. Um, goodness. And then I look at my vellum and I'm like, okay, I love this, but it needs more. So I'm going to do the thing that I love to do, and that is emboss the edges uh, with some embossing powder. So I am using Brutus Monroe embossing powder in Gilded, and I'm also using the Brutus Monroe embossing ink pad. Now you guys know I love me some Brutus Monroe embossing powders. They are the absolute best embossing powders I have ever uh, been able to use. And I've replaced them all. So I only have Brutus Monroe embossing powders now. I have fully converted over there uh, because it is useless to keep embossing powders that I don't use because they're not as good quality. Now my gilded over here is nice and smooth and melted. And I am being careful to only put adhesive down where something's gonna cover it up because you definitely see the adhesive through vellum. Now. If you didn't want to have to do this and put the adhesive only where your things are uh, on top for the vellum, what you could have done is put this on a full adhesive sheet, uh, run it through a big old Xyron sticker maker, anything like that, and then you won't see the adhesive either because it is one full piece of adhesive. Now I'm using this chipboard phrases basically trash uh, to put the embossing uh, ink down over top of this die cut. And I'm doing that because I didn't need to save it and it's just gonna go into the bin anyway and I don't have to worry about getting extra embossing ink on anything. So now I have this icicle embossing powder here and that is a clear embossing powder and I'm just gonna use my heat tool until it gets all smooth and melty. 
I let go of the die cut and then uh, go ahead and heat up that little area where my tweezers were holding on. I'm going to pop this up on some fun foam just to give it a little bit of height, a little bit more interest uh, here on the front of this card. I am going to flip around the card a whole bunch and add on the adhesive in the spots uh, that are covered by elements on the front. So I go ahead and get those down there and there is the front of the card and I love it. I am ridiculously happy with it. Now, if I would have chosen just to do this card with no story, no photo, no nothing, I think it would have been totally okay to leave it like that. Um, if you guys haven't seen or heard my December project philosophy, it is stories don't have to be told on the same day. You don't even have to tell a story. Uh, you can just do pretty Christmas stuff, slap a number on it or not, and just put it in your album. And that's the way I kind of scrapbook through December. Um, I have this chipboard piece that says photo opportunity. <sighs> Newsflash, it does not make it onto the layout. It just feels forced. So I eventually take that off. Uh, but I do use this details card and place a label over top of the photo. And then I like this little chipboard bird uh, down here. No reason why, I just thought he was cute. I'm going to pop down some snowflakes, and then I decide, since I'm popping down snowflakes, the bird needs a little bit more decoration as well. So I have this greenery bit. Now, there is a bit of gold uh, going all over this layout, and that is perfectly fine with me, since I have the gold on the front of the flip-up. I was going to spell out Vegas photo opportunity here, but I was like, mm, no. So I ultimately decided to use the little Christmas word up here at the top right, and then I'm going to pull off that photo opportunity uh, chipboard here in a minute. But, you know, I'm trying to leave it on there for as long as possible. Eventually I realize it doesn't work. So I'm going to throw down a couple of these uh, chipboard phrases. Um, they're just holiday words that I figured would be great to decorate right here. And then I am looking at this and I'm thinking, yeah, this is good. Now I am actually going to journal. So I'm going to talk about how um, I walked through the hotels and it was just so cool to see all of the hotels in their Christmas finery and how they decorate it for the holidays. I especially loved the statues here in Caesar's Palace with all the greenery draped over them. I just thought it was kind of a hoot and a half, and I really loved it. So I am using a Muji pen to write this journaling down. I finished the journaling, and then I am going to pop it into uh, my album just to make sure that it works. And I flip it up, and sure enough, it works. There it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for uh, watching Christmas in mid-April. Crazy, huh? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.